the commentary done by Diggity. This is going to be BSL Hustle League round of 32 group D. Upper right hand corner, we got Zeddy starting as the hot pink Zerg. Bottom right hand corner, we got Bloomster starting as the, what do I want to call that? Olive green Terran. I should look up what the official, I know on the little walk down, you can actually see what the official colors are. This is on Vermeer or Polypoid, one of these four player maps. Looks like it's Polypoid, the mineral only back there. Which again, I'm surprised because I didn't think it was in the map pool, but apparently it is. So Zeddy's returning. Zeddy ended up... So first of all, Zeddy was BSL Season 12 champion. And he's moved on to do... Uh, he's gone into Gosu League a couple times. He's per uh, performed very, very well there. I think he went into Pro League once, uh, if I'm looking at the match history correctly, for this, the international Season 15 stuff. So point being, Zeddy moved on from season 12 and has just improved i don't know a lot about bloomster and i'm trying to remember I, the name's familiar so i might have casted a game or two with them but uh i will say that bloomster's got his work cut out for him because zeddy is just a tough 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 very very strong competitor i think i've got a full group this time to cast and i'm realizing i updated the players names but i did not update the uh tag so it probably says group c still instead of group d and I'm not going to bother adjusting that because otherwise you guys will end up with a black screen and then it'll go to basically uh, I could show you, but I'm not going to mess with the video. Basically, it goes to black screen for a half second whenever I click away because they don't have this at the uh, scrolling full screen, whatever thing for output. I did have someone who were like, oh, you're not outputting. There was some YouTube comment recently that did not appreciate. They were like, why aren't you outputting at 60 frames per second? And I'm like, because I'm casting live when I do this, too, and my computer can't handle it. Thank you very much. You want to buy me a new computer? Then I'll do that. Uh, so just leave that at that, Mr. So-and-so. And also, 30 frames per second is fine. Give me a break. Give me a break. Little complaints. Um, I don't know. Not sure why that one in particular annoyed me. I think it's because it's like, Jesus Christ, people, can you... What else are you going to complain about here? <laughs> anyway, drones, scouting... Top left, Overlord finding uh, upper left, SCV making its way across. I I'm getting comments in Twitch chat where everyone's like, yeah, it's like, that's the thing. Like, if you're if you're an old school Broodware fan, you watched this when it was 360p, like below that, like 240, like 360 was a luxury. 360 was like, that is a high quality stream. So complaining about 30 FPS versus 60 FPS, deal with it. That's what I'm... <laughs> I say in this instance, I'm not concerned. But anyway, looks like we're seeing an initial marine creation to go ahead and secure that natural expansion. Still going to hold the ramp to try to blockade this out. But Zeddy got the information he's looking for with that drone scout. Overlord making a beeline out in the field. One problem with this is this he's going to need to produce some additional zerglings in order because this Overlord's going to just have to hang out here at the three o'clock location. Looks like the zergling's going to try to block the ramp the opposite direction we do see i think this is a zergling speed um never mind normal zergling speed timing i'm just off because of all my earlier ranting zerg layer being built <laughs> SCV still getting some decent scouting information we still have a zergling holding the ramp but what zeddy does need to do is he actually needs to produce a couple extra zerglings to get down towards the front to confirm the marine well i guess not in this instance because it's not a front door seal but he does need to get a good eye on the marine production, uh, the marine production from Bloomster, so that he doesn't end up all of a sudden swarmed in uh, lack of recognition of okay the the troop movements that are out there. I believe this zergling? Nope, neither zergling. So I missed a. Was it the drone who got the kill? I'm trying to find the drone that might have gotten that last hit on the SCV. But this is what I'm talking about. The Overlord now spots him at the three o'clock. Is that Overlord going to get taken out as well? Overlord gets taken out, putting Zeddy in the red, and Bloomstore are all of a sudden looking real solid. Emergency creep colonies being dropped, but they're not going to be done anywhere near time. And this is also, he's got only the two Zerglings to work with. Again, because that Overlord cross position wasn't able to scout anything, so Bloomstore are going to be able to get a massive amount of damage done with this. The Zerglings still, finally, the Overlord's still not finished, and it looks like finally some Zerglings starting to filter out. But that was significant damage, uh, just the Overlord alone. The Zerglings, however, noticing that Bloomster has moved out of position and are, are going to try to do a sidewind and move behind all of this to try to get their own damage done with speed. We do have the Spire finishing 
in pretty decent timing behind this, although I don't think the resource is going to be there. Zergling's crowding, able to get some marine kills. No SCV pull from Bloomster. So I was looking for the SCV pull to, to, uh, to help support those marines, and that would have been secure. Instead, it looks like he's going to end up losing a medic on top of a couple additional marines, and all of a sudden, this is looking good for Zeddy on the swing around. The marines having to go all the way into the main, but that losing that early medic is huge. That leaves one medic remaining. It's going to be somewhat delayed. We, he might have to overbuild turrets now uh, as far as a follow-up concern, and let's see if Zeddy just... So he's got, yeah, he's got plus one weapons, a lot of mutilists being constructed. But this is only six marines. Granted, we have a third barracks being added on, but this could be very, very frightening. Yeah, the mutilists making the way, and we don't have turret started yet. Turret just starting bottom right. So Zeddy has a big window. And actually, it looks like went for uh, some sort of cancellation to put himself in the red to get some additional units out. So able to dive in is going to be able to halt that turret constructing another SCV trying to get there. The Medic Marines having trouble cycling their way back. They did luckily end up with the Mutalisk out of position, but Zeddy just nearly ending up in a situation where we might have been able to take it right there. So now diving into the Marine line, or sorry, the SCV line, creating some additional disruption, getting a good amount of worker kills. has taken a pretty heavy beating though on at least two of those Mutalisks as he exits. Third barracks being produced. Bloomster actually doing a great job of not panicking and dropping way too many turrets. However, there's still only a single turret defending, and with that marine count and also being out of position, not going to be there to defend at the natural, so more economic destruction there. He has, if you look at the mini map, dropped another expansion top left. And also getting, oh, that medic is exposed too. So a mutilisk. For a good, yeah, for a medic and a good amount of troops otherwise, I think this is going to be a happy trade for Zeddy overall. And there's only two Marines left on the field here versus five Mutalisks. And Zeddy's still trying to micro this. He's actually missed microing a little bit because he was still in let me micro this mode. And if he had just actually attack moved that, he probably would have won that fight and that would have been it. Uh, but Bloomster on just the thinnest of edges to try to stay in this match now. And I'm not sure where to call this now. Zeddy in not the worst position. He's got two damage sunken colonies on the front. It looks like he might be transitioning into let me just all in mutilisk mode. Plus one weapons isn't that far from finishing. And Bloomster still has not been able to rebuild that medic and marine count to deal with these mutilisks. And as a result, taking additional SCV losses at the main. He's done a fantastic job though, keeping up to just keep building the units, but you can see that worker count's been dropping, 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 getting closer and closer. And the problems are just gonna increase now for him as the Mutalisk flock has gotten to substantial count of 10 and plus one weapons is just about to hit. And I think Zeddy smells blood in the water. I don't think he has any intention of transitioning. I think he wants to try to win it with just pure Mutalisk alone at this stage. So going to continue to dive into this, that turret desperately trying to get constructed, but more SCVs losing their lives for the cause. It is now a five worker gap between Zeddy and Bloomster. Plus some weapons has started. I think the upgrades, I haven't been paying attention to whether uh, Stimpak and uh, where the status of Stimpak and range behind this, but this is plus one weapons is coming out uh, much later than usual. Medics getting picked off on the corner and Zeddy now looking real sharp. And looking at Zeddy's play here, especially the recovery. Aside from the mistake early of just not having the Zerglings in position to check the move out. Um, looking good as far as a recovery position. Loses a Mutalus right there, but still exposes the SCV line. And the SCV's no longer mining at the natural expansion. They're huddled around that turret to try to mitigate losses, but that's not even helping. He's now dropped in. He's got a lower worker count at this stage than his opponent. And it's just plummeting. Yeah, now at this stage, Zeddy can just purely produce mutalisks and win it outright because he's got a superior economy more larva and even if he just sits back he can he's already got the queen's nest he can transition directly to hive and win it from here he's done so much damage to bloomster's economy bloomster somehow trying to get a starport up in a science facility maybe to try to get a science vessel out but he's only got 15 scvs remaining the barracks aren't lit up because they can't afford to be lit up right this second and he's having trouble just getting his army in position to deal with... We're approaching the 10-minute mark, which is usually when you wanted to have 
map control as a Terran at this stage where you got your, your medic marines somewhere planted out in the field. Instead, we've got kind of a refueling a battle drone out there as a mistake in the rally, but a uh, refueling station for the mule is just going to sit there and recharge on low units right out on the front, which just shows you how strong a position this is for Zeddy overall, continuing to take down turrets, now using the high ground advantage against his opponent to carve out what units are left. And honestly, that should be GG right here. That's, yeah, two Marines gone. Well played from Zeddy. A great recovery, I have to say, in this match. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Enjoy the three, the 30 FPS content. Thanks for listening.